Well, it's been a year in the making, and uh, when I first started this adventure a year ago, it was a pretty daunting task to take it on, just moving my family into a different country and to step into something like this. Now that we're on the other end of it and we can kind of see what we've done in a year and with very few people, I'm pretty proud of what we've done and uh, I think it's a pretty big accomplishment. So I'm pretty happy how things have turned out. We were really, really impressed how it went. Uh, we've worked really hard to get to this stage. I was slightly sceptical, but I must admit I was very impressed And when we actually got to the depth and we had a very good operational vehicle. It's been quite the adventure since we started. It's sort of like with my little baby now, because I've worked on it for so long, it's become like one of my best friends and uh, I kind of want to see her through and work on her for many years to come, hopefully. I feel pretty happy about the vehicle. Uh, everything else that comes after this are going to be simple things to resolve and the science part of it is going to be solid. It's going to be good. Now, this is just the beginning. This is step one. Now and we need to start adding and filling this entire middle area full of science gear and continue to do exactly what we've already done. We've only done it once. Now we got to keep going and going again and again, collecting samples, uh, discovering new things about volcanic vents and then after a few years of doing that then I'll be relieved. Uh, we've just got back from our 4,500 metre dive, which is the depth rating of the vehicle. And we've got the vehicle back on deck and there have been celebrations all around. This is great. So it's a big milestone for the vehicle as a whole. But in terms of the technical aspects, uh, we were never really concerned because most of the systems have been tested in isolation in pressure chambers to 4,500 metres plus a safety margin. What we're working with right now is still kind of system problems and integration problems that are not related to depth at all. So even though the vehicle has accomplished its big dive, there's still issues to be resolved before we finish this integration period. What we've done today is that we've proven that we can design it, we've proven we have the functionality, and we've proven that we can get it to the depths in which we were required to do, which is 4,500 metres. And that's where we are. You know, as my job starts to tail off now, the difficult part happens where you've got to find really good operators who will take this machine and provide the signs for the, the capability that we have behind us. So Sebastian is just a data collection platform, but it takes the humans who can use this capability, modify it, add systems to it, you know, and then take it to some pretty benign environments within the ocean. So although it's been a difficult year, this is just the start of Sebastian's life. I've got to absolutely congratulate those four engineers, myself and Stacy, um, that worked on this vehicle. Within a year, we pulled this thing together. It's been a good day for us, a real good day. Yeah, well done. Well done, boys. <laughs>